I'd like to give you a little piece of advice. A, little, a few words of wisdom. Um, that would be me. Shut so up. He doesn't have anything Please. To say. Just say it. Your mom and I are going to be uh, 40 years in two weeks. And I figured out what it was. Every Monday, without, without every Monday without missing a beat, I wake her up and remind her how lucky she is married to me. And it has worked wonders. Especially because it I'm has. still sleeping. But in all, seri in, all ser in all seriousness, if you wake up every day, look in the mirror, and tell that person you see, How lucky you are. Life will be great. Congrats. Looking back nine years ago, T and G met at Niagara College. Tia recalls meeting Giovanni. <laughs> he was wearing an Ed Hurley t-shirt and he reminded her of Jersey Shores. <laughs> which was a thing then. Yes. <laughs> After meeting, they had stayed friends. Giovanni, on the other hand, recalls meeting Tia and her ignoring him. And they didn't talk until he had the courage to messenger her from Boston Pizza. Let's drink. <laughs> from your first date at Kahunaville, I believe, you've fallen in love and you've decided to spend the rest of your lives together. You have endured challenges together, shared memories such as camping, hiking, and hanging out with your fur babies. Tia, you have learned to accept that Giovanni is stubborn and will always be right. Giovanni, you have worked through the fact that Tia is a hot mess and you will have to accept the responsibilities of cooking and cleaning. I want to thank everybody for coming tonight and I especially want to thank Tia and John for the special day. I'm so proud of you, John. He's an awesome guy. I'm inspired by him entering the military. He was, as he grew up, he was always big into hockey, and I thought he was really going to pursue being a goalie, but then he made a shift and went into the military, and it's a lot of respect that I really want to pay to you. At every wedding, people always say we want to... People always say we want to welcome Tia to the family, but I can't say that, Tia, because you've been part of the family for a year. So, welcome again. That's all I have to say right now.
Marriage is hardly the final step in a couple's relationship, rather the beginning of a new adventure. You have shared joys, blessings, and challenges over the past year. Today you want to reconfirm your commitment to working together and ensuring your love blossoms for years to come. May this renewing of vows you took to become husband and wife remind you that despite the stresses inevitable in every life, your love, respect, trust and understanding of each other will continue to increase your contentment and heighten your joy of living. Continue to have Tia as your wife and continue to live in this marriage? I will. Do you reaffirm your love for her and will you love, honor, and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer, for better or worse, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. And Tia, will you continue to have Giovanni as your husband and continue to live in this marriage? I will. Do you reaffirm your love for him and will you love, honor, and cherish him in sickness and in health for richer or for poorer or better or worse and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Tia, I wear this ring you placed on my hand. Tia, I wear this ring you placed on my hand. As a symbol of my love and commitment to you. As a symbol of my love and commitment to you. Now Tia, with your hand on top, please repeat after me. Giovanni, I wear this ring you placed on my hand. Giovanni, I wear this ring you placed on my hand. As a symbol of my love and commitment to you. As a symbol of my love and commitment to you. Giovanni and Tia, today, you have renewed the vows you made to each other on your blessed wedding day. You have symbolized the renewal of your union by joining of hands and taking of vows and by wearing of your rings. It is my pleasure that I conclude the ceremony of renewing the vows of, of marriage and that joined you and binds you as husband and wife. Please celebrate this renewal of vows with a kiss. <laughs> Tia, you look beautiful. You always look beautiful. Always, like, look at this girl. John, you've, you've come a long way from your underwear and blue rubber boot days. I'm just gonna say you cleaned up nicely. You look very handsome tonight. So let's just start out by congratulating the bride and groom. If everyone could join me in a toast. We just wanna wish you a lifetime filled with love, health, prosperity, happiness, all the above. Cheers, everybody. Cheers to the bride and groom. We were specifically instructed by the bride not to make a speech. Not to make a speech. Um, I think it's because she knows between the four of us we have way too much ammo on her. So instead we're going to do a very heartfelt toast if everyone could raise their glasses to the bride and groom. Giovanni, thank you so much for putting up with the four of us. And Tia. <laughs> Cheers to the lovely couple. G or G-O? John John, baby John John. Baby John John. What is it today? Okay, Gio, we love you. 
and we're very happy for the two of you. And we look forward to hopefully soon you guys knowing where the hell you're going. But welcome to the family to you. Pia, when I first met you, you were nine years old. You made it very easy for me to join your family. I have truly enjoyed every moment I spent with you. Um, your dad and I have many happy memories of your childhood and my milestone. And now you have married the man you love. We couldn't be happier. Pia Bonnie. You make Pia happy and you make her smile, so that makes us happy. So welcome to the family. I can't express how much I'm thankful that you have married my daughter because you are her rock. You're her solid. You're her best friend. And I am so proud of both of you. And I don't even consider you, Giovanni, a son-in-law. I consider you a friend also. I want to thank Rocco and Diana. You guys have been fantastic. And Megan for putting this all together. Um, everyone, everyone I always talk to asks if I get along with my mother-in-law. And I say, like, I, uh, I can't, I know, I know. Everyone is always so surprised when I say that even if Giovanni and I were to get divorced, I would secretly hang out with the D'Amelio family. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. We're super excited and we're happy that everyone could join us here today. Drink up, be merry. Dance. Uh, dance, uh, don't drink and drive, don't smoke and drive. If you need a ride home, get a ride home. Uh, you're adults, I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna babysit you. <laughs> Figure it out. Cool? All right, cool, thanks. So, T, I don't know if you know this. I, don't, I have it written down somewhere, but on July 27th, I think it was, a Saturday, I get a video. Someone sends me a video text <laughs> I'm in the messenger. <laughs> oh, the bachelorette party, yeah. What a great video. You know, Tia, like I said earlier, Tia, she's sweet, innocent. She's always helping out. Can I help? Can I do anything? She's so precious, but... Everything becomes so clear. Everything becomes so clear of why she is so in love with John. Because John used to wear, or sometimes he wears this army uniform. And in the video, there's this guy dancing in front of Tia with his army uniform on, and Tia is smiling, drinking the tequila, having a great time. <laughs> so just to be honest here, I really don't know if it's John or the uniform, but the way you behave, Tia, you're going to fit into this family well. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. Thanks, everybody. Right. Okay, okay, before we get Gio up here breaking Uncle Jerry's arm, I think now is a good time to...